Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing Valkyrie Crusade. Now this game is probably fairly old. I don't remember the last time I played it, to be honest. It's like a long time ago, probably around the same time I started playing uh, Dragon Blades. But this was another one of my very first uh, mobile games. It, it was kind of unique in a way, but I don't remember my old account, so... Yeah, I literally have to start over, which really does suck because I had a lot of things and a lot of old event cards. But at the time, I didn't know that I could like transfer like all these different type of um, accounts and everything at the time because I was new to the whole mobile games. So that sucks that I lost all of that, but I rarely ever play it now, so I don't really feel too much about it. Seems like this account has already been logged into a few times. I don't know how, considering that I've just played. Join who? I guess they're just trying to get me to join the guild. I'm, I'm good. Now, it's like a building game where you can build your own, like, castle and everything. Um, let's see if I can find an example of uh, another person who done this. But this is where you fight... Hey, 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 I know this. This is where you fight, like, bosses or archwitches, which are very powerful, like, cards that you can potentially get from defeating them. So that's also a good way to get cards, too. They also have a crap ton of events for you guys to go into. And I probably have some crappy battle cards on me right now. Let's look at my units. Yep, I have really crappy ones. Which makes me wish I could remember my account, or if they would have at least put a password or an email at least, but they didn't do that, so yeah. What is this? Wait, hold on. Campaign, get a ring. So I guess they want me to join a random... They just want me to join a random guild? I kind of don't want to do that. Okay, what did I just click? Alright, so what I can do is grab all of my supplies here start building. What's in my um, inbox? Just this? Alright, I'll take that. Do have invite codes and everything. So, yeah. Get 10 players, get a legendary ticket. I forgot what the legendary ticket was. But if you guys want to use my code, you guys can go ahead and use it. I don't mind. But I don't know what this is. This is fairly new to me. I don't know what this material is. But yeah, new game news available to where they would tell us new things are added and new events. I think there's a Valentine event going on right now. Um, so let's get to building. Building is very is pretty simple actually. You can pick what you want to build. And where you want to put it. I'm going to start my farm uh, down here. I can rotate it to two different ways. I'm going to rotate it that way. Now early it's like fairly quick but I remember like late game it starts to get like an hour or a whole week depending on what buildings you're building. You can add more of these if you wanted to. Uh, workshop increases the amount of things you can build at the same time, so those are fairly good. Now you can buy all these, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste my uh, gems on some, you know, cards, considering I could just keep working hard to get them in different events. So I'm going to buy the workshop. I know the workshop takes up a lot of room though. I'm just gonna put it in the back right there for a while. Now you do get XP for building, so that's good. No, I don't want to notify my friends. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can put it on Facebook or Twitter if you want to. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but this game actually does bring back a few memories. I might play it, but... More often, but who knows. 
Uh, here's the campaign. Which I'm not gonna do. God damn it. it. It tricked me. I thought I could just go in here. Complete with alliances. Oh, this is Guild Wars. This right here is Guild Wars. Okay. That makes more sense. Here's the event. You have your Visterity. I'm pretty sure Visterity counts for both of these at the same time. Uh, so if I was to go into the Chronicle and it would take stamina from there. Well, Visterity. Let's see. Let's go into event first. Alright, I need to complete that one. Wasn't trying to complete. Well, touch that one, but let's go ahead and do the event while we can. I don't think I edited. Uh, let's see, let's see. Autofill. Eh. But how the game works is pretty much your character has HP and it's this little bar right here. So this one has 1450 HP, this one has only 100 and this one only has 100. So they would die fairly fast. Oh god damn it, I got an arch witch on the first run. <laughs> There's no way I'm killing that. There is literally no way I'm killing that. But Arch Witches are, are fairly strong. They can literally one-shot you. Or they can have a skill that applies. So as you can see, this star means I can use my skill. So all I do is hold it down. All she does is heal. That's pretty much what it does. Alright. It's not all that bad. There goes my heal. Alright, so I, I was able to beat her. She is level 1, so I do have a chance of actually getting her. Let's see if I actually get her. Nope. I don't know what the arch core is. What is that? Arch witch core? I have to look at that and see. So, you could also do the same thing for participating with others if uh, somebody does if you like have a friend who's fighting an archwitch or a random person they can call for help and they'll be in here but and if they call you and you actually attack and it will probably only give you one is what I believe last that check it only gives you one prize from uh, participating but maybe it gives you an extra one for being the one to defeat the boss I believe I don't know guys, I, it's been a long time since I played the game. I do apologize if I don't remember everything. But that's just a little bit of uh, the combat system. So let's go back out and see that it take Dexterity from uh, Chronicle. Yeah, so Visterity counts as all one thing guys. And here goes the Arch Battles and here's Dueling where you can fight other people. I'm not sure if I can find somebody as weak as I am. But, we're gonna see. Get yeah. okay, we know how this works. But you can set up your own um, defense and everything and people will attack. I can acquire a card that increases... Ah. Uh. Yeah, so here's the thing. Your skills have a chance of activating. They don't automatically just have like some kind of stamina or something. It has a chance of getting the star above it, or oh, on it. So yeah, if you're lucky, you get the star on it. But right here is our um, soldier's HP. Well, our card's HP, meaning it has soldiers on it. Here's the defense, and here how much damage it does. And here is how much cost it costs for a party. So that's another thing that you guys had to remember. Uh, go back to edit. We'll hold off on the duels right quick. So there is cost for your party. So, yeah. That's the thing. For my defense, I don't have anybody in there. Uh, let's fill. Since my other cards are already in there, I can't really put in another defense. I don't know what this is. I don't remember what that is. Edit Thor deck. Hmm. 
That looks very weird. That's newish. Now you do have your like uh, collection to where you can see different types of cards. I believe it's gonna take a while for everything to pop up. Maybe no. I guess I just don't got anything in the collection. So then, uh, what else are we gonna do right now? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys shop. So, yeah, you guys already seen shop. Um, pretty much like buying and moving your stuff around. And it's also another thing that's pretty cool, somewhat, is when when this gets full, the vegetation comes in. As you saw, the crops like disappear. Oh God, have I leveled my kingdom? Let's level up the kingdom. Okay, never mind. Now I do have a lot of gold, so I need to start building storages. But back to shop. Now you have all kinds of different things. You can get some tiles or like different type of um, displays you can buy. A whole bunch of trees, a whole bunch of different types of walls and everything. You can even go Egyptian if you wanted to, but you have to be a certain level to get these. So, yeah. All this is fairly straightforward and simple, though. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, card. Card room. I remember this. I don't remember what's in it, but I remember this. Hey, come here. Stay right about... Here. Now you can um, increase your spaces, but you need uh, resources or you can just expand it with um, your diamonds. But I wouldn't recommend using your diamonds, I recommend doing it the old fashioned way. If you're that desperate, then you can go for it. Now you can actually buy resources with your diamonds. Um, there's I believe uh, evolution to the um, whole card system uh, if I do remember correctly let's see upgrade yeah there's a option so there's a chance that you could get a card that you wanted but you would still have to evolve it like four times so I recommend not even fooling around with the whole purchasing different units things unless you're actually trying to like get something you really want or need or if you have enough money or enough diamonds saved up at least I think they're diamonds what are they rubies don't remember <laughs> all right let's check quest completed quest get a farm so I'm not going to collect this because if I do collect it it's just going to disappear and I won't get it because I'm already full. So let's not do that. I will take that XP. I will take this. Yep, that's more gold that I'm not going to use. So what we're going to do is back out and go to build. And we need to build a few more things. Such as more of these. Hold on. Let's move these around. Um. Yeah, just move all those over there. We don't need them over here at the moment. So they do give you an amount of how many you can, um like half down so right now I can only have three as I level up I can hold more of them so I do have gold storage to where I my gold is all stored up and everything I can level that up so I can hold on to more gold or I can build uh, what was that well thing I think it was right about he nope it's probably still in here. Definitely not down here. There it is. 
the air dock. This increases your storage as well. You could buy it and it would increase everything. So I could literally put it right there. As you see it increase everything, I can upgrade this as well. But the, also the resources for this that's required is more diamonds. Yay! So diamond items require more diamonds. Now I can just grab that. Uh, there should be another storage around here. Is that? Nope, this is workshop. Uh, what else? What else? So, I would be working on that, if anything. Here are my resources. I need to uh, level up that. I'm going to move this down here, where the rest of the crops are. Hopefully by the end of the video, the card, the card room is um, all done. This is what I'm hoping for this. Let's level up this. And this. But what I can't level up is this because I don't really have any ether. So I'm going to have to wait. Now, the, some of these um, on level 1 are insta, like instantly upgraded, but then it starts to go for a long time. I think level 7 like took 3 or 5 days or maybe a week to um, apply themselves to my place, so that's one thing that is very time consuming. God darn it, why are these here? I can't store those? That's dumb. Well, I'm gonna move them right here. Because they're in the way of my glorious building that is terrible and trash. But, you know, on the inside it looks beautiful. Somewhat. But, <laughs> I'm gonna put down some more. Considering we're gonna really need all those. What's this? Oh yeah, that's the workshop, that's the iron shop that I would have to upgrade so I can hold on to more. Uh, I don't remember where, it, where's my metal? I believe I have metal workplaces, right? For here, you can change your kingdom and name it anything you want. Uh... But it seems like it has a has a limit on everything you can put on it, so I'm just gonna subtract that and change it. There we go, perfect. But let's go back into some more battling and see how it goes. As you see, I leveled and got more visterity as well. So leveling does refresh your visterity and does give you more visterity added on. Now, of course, the farther I get into the game. Well, we'll get into this event. The stronger the enemies are going to be. Now I can auto. And just have them fight on their own. But. When they get a star. It automatically just pauses the, um, the auto. Pretty sure there's a setting to where you can change that. Let me see. But over here is your settings, your ranking, and everything. Um, what about here? But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And here's the little uh, disable your skills. I just disabled it. So, yeah. You can show motion to battle, or you can take that off, and it will just be like the normal style of Pokemon where you take away the animations and they just attack each other. If you guys understand that. And your notifications. Now, let's go back in here. Now, here's your comrade list 
of all your friends since this is a new account I don't have any friends I'll be fine I'll be fine but there's also alliances which is basically guild your summoning your quest your upgrades your presence which is pretty much just your inbox then there's your profile and then there's your items you're holding rip all my items I was holding could have sworn there uh, there was a lot of them there are some tickets that you okay that's what it is you can exchange the um, art cores for like different um, actual uh, cards or you can exchange it for tickets URL tickets how many tickets do I need? Oh my... I mean, how many cores did I need? But Jesus Christ. How much for this? Oh, you guys got quite a bit of grinding to do if you guys want those. They also have maiden tickets, which... I'm... I don't remember what the maiden tickets were. I really don't remember. But as you can see, our building is coming along here, and I can actually play this now. This is pretty much like a matching game, is what I remember. Alright, definitely not something I wanted. Okay, well, that's depressing. Yeah, if you get two of these and two of these done, you automatically lose. So, yeah, kind of depressing. And I just lost one of my playtimes. So, rip that. Any time you uh, lose, you lose a heart. But you also get coins for it that you can use for, like, um, bite me. Wait, what? Okay, I, I didn't remember it. How much you want to bet is okay. Ah, uh, I gotta be careful because I already have one of them revealed. Okay, nope, that wasn't one. Why did I do that? <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but it was over here actually. So, if even if I would have pushed above, I still would have lost. So that's pretty much all my play times, I believe. Oh no, nope, I get one more. All right, swimmer and the SR. Oh, God damn it. SR. I'm terrible at memory games, guys. Okay? Well, I'm, I'm great at getting nose, though. <laughs> now, I don't remember. How do I get to the exchange? Oh, yeah. I have to uh, go back and click on the building. Now, as I have my coins here, I can just spin them on these. But you're gonna be here quite a while trying to get these um, coins. So, yeah. The game tries to make you play or work harder for the things you want. But you can also upgrade so you can have more play times. <laughs> so, keep that in mind. These little sprites are not actual characters you, like, have. But they are the population of the cars you have in your, um, inside your units. So, I have 12, uh, cards. So that just means 12 villagers in my kingdom, pretty much, is what that is. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Let's go to summon. I'm not gonna... Like summoning anything. Okay, first time is free. So let's see what crap I get. Since it is first step. And we all know first steps are pretty crappy. Yep, thought so. I had no hope in that at all. <laughs> As you can see, it, it just goes up. It's literally pretty much pay to win at that point. But it's not like major pay to win. Unless you're in PvP. Or trying to get ahead in the event. And here are the legendaries where you can 
put in your cars, ultimates, ultras. These are guaranteed tickets. And here's your um your regulars where you can use friendship points. Continue summoning. So you can get lucky and get um, some SRs, but I'm not sure how lucky you could get. I don't know what this is. Didn't really tell me what that was. Do I go back into... No, let's go to items. It should be in items, right? Oh, that's just for awakening your card. Nah. That was nothing special at all from that. But as you guys saw, we got crap. The drop rate for high cards are, is pretty shitty. It's still as shitty as I remember. Oh yeah, I had to um, make an arena so I can actually use more of these uh, slots. I don't know when is arena. Hold up. Let me check. What level do I have to be to build arena? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, arena is level three castle, which I don't have right now. I think my castle is level two. Yeah, and I'm not gonna have it for a while because I don't have any of my resources apparently. Now we can actually take this. Oh, they're the jewels. That's what they were. Instead of diamonds. Well, they look like diamonds, so I'm gonna keep with diamonds. Oh god, I got a lot more of them. So make sure to do your beginner quests. So what's the y'all get from beginner quests? Alright. Form an alliance or join one. Uh, so build an ether storage is another one I need to do. Let's go ahead and build that. Did it automatically complete? Nope, it has to actually complete before I actually get it. But Alliance, let's go ahead and I can't create one so I have to join one. So I just got into the guild and that just completes the quest. Now I don't know what happened if I actually leave the guild or if I can. I believe there is a... I believe they forced you to stay in there for a while, I think. Let's see. But the guild has some um, goddess that you can worship and you can get like cards or points from them. But you have to offer your um, your friendship points or just whatever they want. No, I probably should have looked at what they actually wanted. I, I guess it doesn't tell you uh, what they give. That's depressing. Uh, let's try alliance. Paul, you can just donate to the guild basically just to help it level up is pretty much what this is. Then you have alliance info where you get a whole bunch of star points you can use I believe? I I don't remember. I think those were just a score of your guild. And this was created in 2014. Jesus. That was quite a way back. And here's the board where everybody just chats and talks actually pretty normal for anyone. Uh, I believe this is global, right? No, that is... Why is there a globe next to it? But you can use emo emotions. Well, emotions they made. So it's pretty much like a Facebook's. Uh, I don't know how to leave this place. 
Uh, is it down here? Yeah, you can withdraw. It's not possible to expel players or withdraw. Break up the guild alliance while it's starting. So they won't let me go since there is an alliance battle. Okay. Okay, that's depressing. So I can't go anywhere. I'm pretty much held hostage into this into this ends pretty much. But they'll probably kick me later cuz let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We do have our premium ticket, so let's go ahead and grab that. We're we're kind of over our time for the whole um, video, but we're gonna grab all of this stuff. Now we did beat the Archwitch, so let's go ahead and collect that too. We're getting a whole bunch of jewels here, and here's our last one. We're pretty much done with our campaign. Well, at least you would think. Nope, that's, this is not the same campaign I was thinking of. The UR rate increased by one. The SR rate increased by three, I believe. I just missed it. Yeah, increased by three. Great. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> that doesn't hope at all. Wait, I was looking at it. I was trying to look at this stage. What is all in here? Alright, pretty much an event going on for alliances. I gotta say, the guild battles back then were actually pretty intense and fun. I'll give the game that, at least. But, let's go ahead and open these uh, cars before I end off the video. And collect, oh my god, all these. Well, collect some of these, because I can't collect all of them. Or it'll just overflow. It gives me a warning to keep me from um, gathering over my limit. Summon. Let's go get some more R cards, guys. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Oh my god, holy crap. Um, I don't think I trust this at all. Step two. Nah, nah. I'm good. I'd rather not waste all my diamonds or well, jewels on that. Some more R's, guys. Yeah, more rare cards. Yeah, and a, a useless card we sh really don't need, but yeah. I feel so happy for that. No, we're gonna we're gonna do it once. Why not? Ooh, wow. God, we need that mini. Screw that. Screw that. I don't want no more part of that. I'm going to save up from now on. There's no point in that. But what did we get over here? We got another awakening. Don't need it. Don't want it. At all. But we're going to duel before we leave. And get wrecked. There's someone weaker than I have, please. Who has the weakest amount of soldiers? You do. Let's let's fight you and still get wrecked. I actually remember that vampire. Ah, oh, doesn't seem like she has anything. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's pretty much how dueling works. You actually get to control your characters and what they hit. Except for the skill, the skill just pretty much hits anything it sees fit. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I have a wait time on my duel. Rip the dream. 
But you guys get a little bit of a feel for the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a very limited game and sadly and kind of in the pay to win category. Well, I would put it inside the pay to win category, like largely pay to win. But then again, if you do the events, you would get some really good and powerful cards. So I can't say like it's full on gun ho into pay to win though. But it's pretty pay to win-ish. If you're like nose deep in the money. But yeah. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the little revisit to this game. It's fairly old, like I said. There's a lot of events. They actually keep updated with the events, which is actually pretty dope. So after our event ends, another one pops up. So yeah, keep that in mind. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.